Craig Arndt here. Hey, the adventure continues. Part two of the ATV trip up at Tug Hill. We're gonna kinda go through a radiator issue that I had, which was a completely clogged. My son had taken out the ATV, so that was completely clogged up. Um, and I'll show you what really works well for those of you that have liquid-cooled ATVs uh, in cleaning that radiator. You don't wanna power wash it. Uh, power washing is going to bend those aluminum fins, which is a Gilmore. It's got this, you can see that, clean. And what that clean is, see that? They're like really fine and really fine. It's, you know, if you look at some of these other things that they're just, even the jet, that's a jet. It's just a big stream of water. What you need to clean that and clean those fins is something that's going to be a really fine stream with a lot of pressure and that will go right into those fins and blast out the clay and the mud straight through to the other side and when you get done you should be able to see through it. We stumbled on a trail that took us just to this beautiful beautiful lunch spot. Check out this video, hope everybody enjoys it. two-wheel drive so far I haven't had to use four-wheel drive the big brute's been doing pretty good we got the new, uh, new tires on it. it seems to be doing really well pretty sticky real sticky Uh, temperature indicator has been going off though which is a little concerning um, but I have a feeling that that's just because the radiator has some grit and uh, that powdery clay that I can't get out so I'm gonna have to use an acid uh, try to get rid of that but it's all right once I'm running Get some air moving. When I get up to 30 miles an hour, so it'll. I'm usually okay. The fan's running, so we're in good shape there.
That engine braking really helps going down these hills. I don't even touch the brakes. This is a pretty cool section though. different machines here today. We've got a Yamaha 230 dirt bike, Polaris 800, Polaris 500. We've got this Kawasaki Brute Force. Uh, what else we have? We've got a lot of different bikes. I think everybody's got a different bike. surfaces here. If you hear me backfiring every now and then it's because I'm running the, the the machine is so hot in these tight woods and uh, unfortunately that engine brake is is a great thing but it pulls in that fresh fuel mix into a hot header and it just it just makes that pop. GPS has been really fantastic to have because we have no cell service where we are. So it's been very helpful. Help us find out where we're going in and how to get out. This is a long downhill approach here. I'm gonna need four wheel drive to get up there, so maybe not, we'll see. Heavy rains yesterday, last night, making things uh, a little slick. without it but it just pulls up so nice Great lunch spot. First time I needed four wheel drive. I want. I, I had Dylan's. I just wanted two. Yeah, I probably only needed two. I, Are these tires in this machine? Yeah. It's a fucking beauty, man. And here's our lunch spot. Yeah. A lot of cherry trees in here. A lot of baby cherry trees in here too. I feel like I'm walking on, I feel like I got about a foot of pine needles under my feet. It's like sponge. Oh man, look how beautiful that is.
videos, please click the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And we will see everybody in the next upcoming video.